Hi everyone, uh, I'm going to be starting a new series here on the Pinball Workshop called Tech and Tools. So for part one of Tech and Tools, I'm going to show just a couple of tools that I think that are neat to see, uh, things that uh, you don't see used often or see a lot of videos on. And I thought it'd be great to kind of cover these first as some board work tools that I've used uh, in the past. The first one I want to start with is this IC leg straightener. You can find these at Amazon. There'll be a link uh, down below. But you have actually two different size of the, sides of this to handle the different size chips. So for example here, here's a 24 pin uh, uh, old RAM chip here. Uh, you should be able to see that this focuses correctly. Yeah, everything seems to be really just kind of bent. Uh, you've got legs that are bent at different angles. Everything just seems to be kind of all wonky from that side. What you can do is you actually can take the leg straightener. You just drop the chip in. Sometimes it needs a little fiddling if they're terribly bent. Let's pop these out just a little bit because it's uh got one more in the way on this side that's causing so you just pop the chip in. Give it a nice squeeze. Uh, there is a place for a grounding wire if you want to ground this. I'm not doing it now because I, I do not care about this chip. And then you'll see all the legs are now going the right direction and look much nicer. So obviously if your legs are touching or, or you know off from this perspective, you, you'll still have to fix those. But in terms of getting the legs nice and straight to insert into a socket, you've got the ability to do that real quickly. So let me just drop it into here. And there we go, right into that 24 pin socket. Easy as that. Now I showed this side uh, that we just did, but if you flip it over, you can also do uh, chips that are slimmer. So this is actually a 20, I think it's a 22 pin chip that I've got here. Again, same issue. Uh, you've got some chips, you got some legs that are kind of sticking outwardly. Uh, the other, you know, the chip's not looking very well in terms of its leg straightness. Uh, let me just drop it into the, so this one's a little bit of a pain. Drop it right into there. Give it a nice tight squeeze. There we go. Nice straight legs. Really does the trick. I've been really impressed with this, especially if you are doing a lot of work. Uh, this one's a little bit, a little bit in, inward there, but. Um, now I can push this forward. I've got my socket here, uh, which is kind of in this breadboard. And now I can just drop it in. Easier said than done when trying to do this looking through a... Uh... Yeah, and uh, there we go. I think my uh, socket's a little wonky there, but uh, yeah. The leg straighter works, I think, really well. Again, if you're doing a lot of, uh, there we go, right into that socket. If you're doing a lot of key uh, uh, board work, uh, I find the leg straighter to be kind of a really handy tool. It's not very expensive. I think it's a, maybe five, six dollars, but uh, works really well. Obviously does a lot of different size chips, especially when you get into doing like a large 40 pin chips. Uh, this is really great. Uh, I think I've got one here. Uh, maybe I don't have one here in my, in my bin, but check this out. I, I think it's a good pickup for, you know, maybe some use that you may have. Uh, the other one is this, uh, from Jenner tools and I see a dip, I see extraction tool. So as it stands, um, if you've ever done extraction, you've probably had something like this where you're taking a uh, screwdriver, you're rocking it from side to side underneath the chip trying to lift the chip off the socket like this. Now, I have no problem with this. I, I've used this method to get chips out of sockets uh, since I started working on this. In fact, this is the exact screwdriver that I use. But I wanted to kind of upgrade, and I found this online. I think actually the 8-bit guy had covered this, if you follow his channel, uh, had got one of these, and I wanted to test it out. And so far, I've been really impressed with it. Uh, so th this is going to get really hard because the socket is not really attached to the breadboard. But all you can do is uh, you move the... Let's see if I can put this back in here. Yeah. Take this, you sit it over the chip, 
And then just with a pull, you can actually pull, whoops, on the chip itself. I'll just actually hold it. You can see that it actually grabs the chip right there underneath. And then just by pulling out, again, that would obviously be socketed, not being held, but now the chip is extracted. So kind of a neat tool. Uh, again, this is a little bit more expensive. I think it's about $15, $15-$20. But again, if you're doing a lot of desoldering and if you're working on boards, maybe you're working on a WPC board that's a little fragile or very tight, has tight traces. Or if you're working on a board, again, WPC has a lot of traces that go underneath chips, especially if you're doing NVRAM. This tool is a little bit less intrusive than the old, uh, you know, to get it under there, flip it up with the, the screwdriver perspective. So two really great tools. Uh, I think that these are a good addition if you do any type of board work. I'm sure that there's pros out there that think these are kind of like the slap chop of the electronic component world. But for me, who's who's still working and you know, building up my skills, I find these a good addition. So hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you'd like to see more tools like this covered, uh, feel free to drop me a comment uh, or a question in the in the chat. I'll be happy to answer it.